Leave Ethan alone. He is mine. Really? Well, if you insist on invading my fantasy, then you deserve to hear it again. Ethan has just proposed to me, and I've just accepted. Say? Oh, get serious. You're not Scarlet. You're the housekeeper's daughter and the last person Ethan would ever ask to marry him. That's not true. Mm, yes, it is. And if this really were the 1860s, you'd be scrubbing floors. Wait a minute. This is my fantasy. I may be the housekeeper's daughter, but Ethan will marry me because I can make him happy. You can. Ethan, wake up and tell her that you love me. I'm sorry, Gwen, but I don't love you. I love Teresa. Always have and always will. So take a hike. No, I'm not going anywhere. Ethan only said that because this is your fantasy. I am not giving up on my man. You got that? Ugh. Look at her, Ethan. She's a mess. Certainly not a lady worthy of marrying Ethan Crane. You're talking about the woman I love. The woman I'm gonna marry. Do you really think that your family's gonna let you marry someone like this? A gold-digging little nobody? A gold-digging nobody? You take that back! Gold digger, gold digger, gold digger, gold digger. <laughs> oh, please, you wouldn't dare. It's my fantasy. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ladies, please, oh. can't we all just get along? <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh. Teresa, Teresa, we've got to get out of here. Whitney, would everybody please just stay out of my fantasy? we got to go before Ethan calls the cops. <sighs> just get up as quietly as you can and meet me at the concession stand. Isn't this great, Gwen? Oh, this is ridiculous. Where could Ethan be? 